iOS is one of the best Android distribution available for Android devices till date. It is in replacement of Signage and Mod, a popular open source operating system based on Android. The current release of Lineage OS is version 16, which is based on Android Pi. The main goal of Lineage OS is to run on any Android device, even with a low specifications droid, can handle the OS very easily due to the level of dedication that developers putting on it is full of exuberance. So what's new in Lineage OS 16? And this is my Poco F1 and I have installed Lineage OS 16 based on Android Pi which brings handy features that you won't get on any ROM. So let's start exploring. Anyway, in this video I will talk about the performance, the battery backup and features. And also at the end of the video, I ran a couple of benchmarking apps, so stick along with me till then. <laughs> so starting with the first thing is called the features. The by default, the Lineage OS provides a launcher which is a quite minimal. So I have installed a Poco launcher which seems very good on stock Android. The Lineage OS 16 brings a features which helps to customize anything of the user interface. The very first thing which I really like about this ROM, you can change the accent color. Inside the settings under the display options, select style from here to customize the accent color along with system theme. There are a lot of options available on here, you can apply black theme along with the system color. And as you can see, this actual looks quite amazing. And I really like to change the accent colors of the system which are kinda cool. The next up, which I like about this ROM, you can use your phone with one-handed mode. All you need to do is as simply as slide the home bar to the right and you can see the system will be adapted to use with one hand. And remember, in order to work this option, make sure you have turned on the gestures. The one-handed mode also provides the controls, which you can use to drag or increase the size of the window, or you can quit the one-handed mode by simply clicking on the black area. Also, under the quick settings, you can add in more options. You can see there are new options available like a reading mode, caffeine, which helps to increase the screen timeout, and my favorite, a live display, which basically optimizes the color temperature based on the sunset and sunrise. And here are the, some of the uh, quick tiles you can add to the quick settings. So next up, the digital well-being, an Android Pie specific feature which helps to know the usage of your Android. You have already seen on iPhones called a screen time. Basically, using this, you can monitor how long you've been using your device. This works for every individual application too. And of course, you can also get a new option with Pi called Bedtime, aka Wind Down. When you set a bedtime by default, your phone will use the black and white system colors throughout the system to save the battery. Also, you can change the button layout, change the battery icon, and do more with a lot of options available in this ROM. Second up, the performance. To be frank, I personally detest me user interface which I can't really bother with. I like tinkering with custom ROMs. After installing Lineage OS on my Poco F1, it feels lighter, thanks to the lesser bloatware. The power of Snapdragon 845 on Poco F1 running MIUI is underrated, but when it comes to Lineage OS, it seems like 845 is showing its power. All apps opens up instantly and thanks to the strong animations and transitions, everything is snappier. Daily tasks can be done with an ease. You can see how faster the apps are launching. Of course, the multitasking is also pretty good. And thanks to the 6GB of RAM on board. The RAM management is pretty good. All open apps will sit inside RAM and can be accessed at incredible speed. If you distinguish this ROM with a Pixel experience, you may feel it's not that bad. The only difference between this ROM and Pixel experience is that you can customize a lot of things of the UI which you can't on a Pixel experience. So overall, the performance is amazing. Also, I have played a lot of games like Asphalt 8, The Brother in Arms, and many big games and all of them are snappier, no frame drops, and thanks to the Arino 630 GPU. And lastly, I ran a couple of benchmarking applications on this device, and here are the scores. You cannot compete these scores with MIUI, and I don't believe on these benchmarking tools, obviously it will never impact the performance overall. And last but not the least, the battery usage and backup. The battery backup is not that bad. You can easily get a battery backup of up to as 6 plus hours of screen usage time. And thanks to the 4000 mAh battery on it, and I charge this device every morning, then I charge it at the night. So overall, the bottom line of the video, as of now, this is not official. The currently, this ROM is under the process of getting makeover and bug free, preparing for official release. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. This has been KSK so far. Peace.